Hi guys, I hope you're all doing great. In today's lesson, we will be making the perfect insert for our pillow cover that we made in a previous lesson. And I will be using old bed linen to make the insert. Now I'll also be using the method that I showed you guys um, how to cut straight edges on your fabric when you're making, um, when you're doing small projects such as pillow covers, pillowcases, table linens, and uh, the like. The first thing I do is lay my fabric out on the table and I fold it so I have two layers. The next thing I'm going to do is press out the fabric. And I press the fabric out so as to get all the crinkles out of the fabric. So when I measure and cut, I will get the precise cut that I need. Next, I line up my triangular square on my fabric and I already have a straight edge here because I folded the fabric. So when I measure and cut, I'll have two panels in one cut. So I'll go ahead and line up the triangle on the fabric and draw a line at the bottom. The pillow cover that I made is 16 inches by 16 inches. So in making the insert, we need to always make our insert one inch wider than our pillow cover. So the insert then will be 17 inches by 17 inches plus we need to add an half an inch for stitching. Therefore, we will have to cut and insert that 17 and a half inches by 17 and a half inches. There we go. We have our two panels in one cut. Now I'll take it to my sewing machine and I stitch all the edges and just leave a small opening here from where I'll be able to turn the insert inside out and stuff it. Now I'm finished stitching the insert. I just need to turn it inside out. And I usually leave an opening that's just about my hand size, a little bigger than my hand, so that I can get to put my hand in when I am putting in the filling. There we go, so we're ready to fill the insert. I am using polyester filling and there's some polyester filling that clumps easily. 
this one doesn't come easily. To knot my thread at the end, I basically put the thread over my finger like this, turn it around so that it overlaps at the back here, and then I just roll it. And there I go, I have my knot. I do have a video that shows you how to do it, so you can check that video out. And then, I'll start from the underside here. So my knot is inside. I'll make sure I fold the opening just like the rest of the insert is stitched. And then I'll just start stitching. I don't have to do a blind stitch here. So I'm just going to do a simple slip stitch. So it's just over and over. To finish off, I just put the needle through, loop the thread, push the needle through the loop, and it's done. So I do have a video also that shows you the easiest way to get your insert into your pillow cover. The first thing I'll do is put my left hand in the middle of the insert and then fold it over with my right hand and hold on to the other side. There we go. I'm holding the insert. Now I'll get my pillow cover and I'll work the insert into the pillow cover without letting go. That's it. The insert's in. So I just go ahead and zip it up, zip it up, zip it up. Ooh. There we go, guys. So we have made our pillow cover and now our insert and our pillow is done. Thank you guys so much for watching the videos for commenting, liking, and sharing because all of that helped to grow my channel. If you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so you can be notified of new uploads. You take care now and I'll see you in the next lesson.